Hi, welcome to a new video on Avogadro 2. I'm going to show how to uh, visualize molecular orbitals. So in this molecule, if we go to analysis, create surfaces, we can choose different options uh, like molecular orbital or electron density and different things. So we can choose the different orbitals. So this would be the homo alpha and we choose the default uh, ISO value of 0 0.03, which is standard. And we calculate the orbital. I think in Avogadro uh, 1.2, there was a list of molecular orbitals that made it faster to visualize the different orbitals. But in here, it doesn't appear to be included in the program. But in this way, we can actually see the orbitals. This is not so different from what it can be done in ChemCraft. But still, uh, the list uh, would be very necessary to analyze more complicated molecules. So here we can see this would be the home orbital. The visualization is quite nice. I like the rendering. We can probably change the colors and the opacity. So this is less opaque and this is more opaque. I like uh, my orbitals to be somewhat transparent so I can see the atoms. We can change the colors to something nicer. So the, the positive region tends to be the first one. We can choose something like this, like a pink. And then the blue color, I always like a more greenish blue. This looks nice. Now it's very shiny. I cannot seem to be able to change the shininess. Oh, sorry. Go back to... Kind of pink. And I will add it to custom colors, so then I have it for to here. So I had a little bit of a problem. I attempted to save and when I pressed cancel, the Avogadro 2 crashed. I have seen this before, so I opened Avogadro again. And luckily, I when I plotted a new orbital, this would be the LUMO. It retained the colors from before. The rendering looks really nice, but it doesn't appear to uh, allow me to change a lot of settings. And at least I haven't found how yet. So if I go to a uh, view, a projection orthographic, because I like this better. I can orient the molecule more or less like this and I should be able to export the image. So file, export, graphics. So this is a PNG. So this would be Fields Hydrocarbon a 109 LUMO. So if I go here and open it, it has exported the, the image. It looks really nice very good resolution on the mesh, maybe not so much on the atoms, but still we don't need such a large zoom. But I like my pictures with a better resolution, so maybe I will try to fix this. Here back in Avogadro, let's see if we can actually improve the settings. Meshes, here is where I can change the colors. I can turn it off and on in meshes. And if I go to rendering, in rendering, there's no option for the resolution. Maybe let's see if we can find some settings. I cannot find any settings, but there has to be. So maybe ball and stick, it doesn't allow me to change anything. Maybe cartoon. So unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to find any option to uh, improve the image resolution. Graphics, maybe here I can change. No, there's no option for changing the resolution. I don't like that. In ChemCraft, I can uh, choose whatever resolution I want and it will look really good. But in here, there has to be some way. Maybe it's a little bit hidden properties. No. So I cannot find this, but I will uh, export uh, the other orbital, the 108 OMO. So I will calculate this. So now this is the HOMO orbital. I will also save it. So now I have the pictures of both orbitals. I think the pictures look quite good, but I would 
really like to have more options or uh, make it easier to be able to change settings in the rendering of the atoms, the resolution of the surface. And also it seems like I'm losing my previous orbital, so I have to render one by one, which is very annoying for visualization. But maybe there's something that I need to add to Avogadro too. Maybe there's some hidden options that I haven't been able to find. So this is all for now. Hopefully this is useful for people starting with Avogadro 2. Uh, I think it still needs some improvement in the ease of use, but actually it does look really nice. This is all for now. Thank you very much.